Okay, we are all done. I had a blast. Until next time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an IMATS haul. I'm super excited to share with you guys the things that I did get. So if you want to see what I got, then keep on watching. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to talk about is lashes. I went to a couple different places to pick up some lashes. Um, I believe the first one was Friends, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I just picked up regular little lashes that are a dollar each at the show. And I got like half lashes, wispy lashes, fluffy just things I'm going to use, and they all have clear bands, which are my favorite. They're super comfortable to wear, and they don't feel heavy or poke you. And I also um, like putting these in my makeup kit as well. And then I got a few more from a different booth I cannot remember. But again, super cheap, and I just like these. They're really, really good. <laughs> and the third place that I went to was Lady Moss Beauty, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I picked up some Coco Lashes. I got the numbered ones, not the named ones. I did want to see what the named ones look like. Everybody's been talking about it, Queen Bee ones and all the stuff like that, but Queen Bee was sold out. And the other ones, just, they were pretty, but they do have like a thick band. Um, I have a lot of lashes like that already, so I figured I'd get the ones with the clear bands that are going to be way more comfortable to wear. So again, I got half lashes, fluffy ones, wispy ones, just some stuff to try. So hopefully those work out well. Let's move on. And the next place that I visited was, without fail, my favorite brush cleaner ever. And that is Perian Spirit. This stuff is amazing. I've been using it for years now. And I don't use anything but this. Um, it's just amazing. It smells like oranges. And it just takes everything off your brushes and cleans them, sanitizes them. Boom. So I got a little um, bottle, a spray bottle, the little container that you can pour and then clean your little brushes and some wipes as well. So that is always good. I always pick those up. It's a staple. And the next thing that I picked up was a beauty blender and just one little beauty blender. Um, a few of mine are getting a little bit old already so I figured I would just grab one to replace them with. They were $16 at the show I believe so yeah you can't go wrong with that. Okay so the very next thing that I picked up was a um, the Balm Meet Matte Hughes Liquid Lipstick, and this is the color Adoring. Um, this is a really pretty dark, vampy, red burgundy. It's a really, really pretty color. I do have two other colors of their liquid lipsticks. I have Charming and Committed, and I really, really like this formula. It's very creamy, hydrating, and moussey. It does dry to a matte finish, but it's a little bit transferable, but I don't mind that because it's a lot more comfortable to wear. So yeah, I love these, so I thought I'd just try one of the darker colors. So the next booth that I visited was Sugar Pill, and a few days before IMATS, they posted a picture of a new product they were going to be launching at IMATS for the very first time, and I was really, really excited because I, I love mermaids, and I love liquid lipsticks, and when you put those two things together, I mean... Come on. This is a limited edition packaging liquid lipstick that they are coming out for the first time. Um, it's so freaking cute. It has a little cute mermaid on it. She's like bombshell, big blonde hair. Um, the actual packaging itself has the same little mermaid on it. I, I love it. Now, the packaging is limited edition, but they will be selling the actual liquid lipstick, the color, everything um, as a permanent product. <clears throat> a permanent product. Uh, but without the uh, mermaid. So I figured I need to get this because it's freaking amazing. The color is called Trinket and it's such a pretty pinky mauvey color but the actual product inside is literally infused with gold sparkles. So when you apply it um, and you let it dry a little bit the gold sparkles start showing through a little bit more as you wear it and if you rub it very slightly, the gold sparkles like wha-bam in your face. And that's really cool and unique. I can't wait to actually wear this on my lips. It smells like creamsicles, like an orange creamsicle. It's like a sweet, citrusy, vanilla smell. And actually smells really good. I like different smells. I'm kind of over everything smelling purely like cake or vanilla. Or just, just me. But yeah, this was really, really pretty. I pretty. I could not pass it up. So yeah. Okay, so the next product is 
kind of a product I didn't expect myself to ever get because I don't know I particularly don't do gel nail polish ever um, I always do acrylics and regular nail polish I get my nails done but I do love changing my colors all the time I absolutely love it um, it's very therapeutic for me to apply nail polish I don't know I thought I would experiment with this product because I never have done this before but this is a gel nail polish system with the lamp and I got to choose four of the colors of my own picking so I'm really excited to try this I've only done gel once in my life a long time ago I have gotten a gel top coat before but that doesn't count um yeah so let me show you what's inside So inside we have the lamp and it's really really cute, portable, whatever. It comes with a little wire that you plug in, but this is what it looks like. It has a little button on top, you press, you put your nails underneath, boom, it cures it. Um, it came with a top and a base coat, which was awesome, because um, this was like a really cool set they were having at the show. And then I got to choose four of my own colors. I chose a peachy color, it's going to be hard to tell, but I got a peachy color. I got this really pretty sparkly plummy purple but when your hands are hot they change to like a rose gold color freaking amazing it was so pretty she was showing me the sample and I'm like and sometimes it stays like an ombre effect so that was pretty cool I cannot wait to try that and the other one I got was wait I just looked at that one um another color changing one and this is kind of like a purpley to a blue periwinkle color Again, super pretty. I think this has sparkles in it as well. Oh, by the way, this blue to purple is Uranus. Um, the purpley to rose gold is Mercury. The peachy color is Peaches. And the very last color I got was rose gold, which is actually a really pretty neutral mauve shade, which is, hello, like my favorite color ever. So yeah, and I forgot to tell you guys the brand. Oops. This is by Bio Seaweed Gel. Um, this is like a at-home starter kit. A U-Lite 2-in-1 LED UV lamp and um, it's cruelty free, vegan friendly, big five free which means it doesn't have um, formaldehyde, toluene, toluene, that was so jazzy, um, DBP, BHA and a bunch of different solvents that are not good for your hands, <laughs> fingers or whatever. So I thought that was awesome. I can't wait to try. I'll definitely like post pictures when I do it because I'm, I'm probably going to be really proud and hopefully I don't mess it up. So yeah. Okay, so the next place that I visited was Friends Beauty again. Friends Beauty is like, they sell a bunch of different makeup. They have a big store in LA. So they had these brushes by Stilazzi. I've never really used these before, but I was touching them and they were really soft. So I figured I would try a couple brushes out. I got these two precision eyeliner brushes, really fine tip. I love these. They make eyeliner application so easy. These are the S113 brushes, love these, always useful. And then I got the S134, which is a small, super soft powder brush. You can apply underneath your eyes, you can use as bronzer, um, blush, all over, whatever you want. Love that. And then I got the S127, which is a flat top kabuki. You can also use this for powder, you can use it for foundation, whatever you want. So I'm excited to try these. I just, I can't stop playing with them. <laughs> the next thing that I picked up was a eyebrow pencil and this is by Chella. Um, this is in the color Tantalizing Taupe. I used to use this all the time. I was blonde and this was like the perfect pencil for me. Um, I love this and then I ran out. This came in one of my boxes. I think it was Ipsy. Long time ago. I don't know. Either way, I was really, really happy they were there. So I picked up one. I can't wait to use this because it's like the perfect color ever. Yes. And as we were walking around, um, Sigma was passing out little bags and there was like little goodies inside. So they gave one to my boyfriend and they gave one to me. So I have a couple of them. But it's basically a brush. This is a medium angled shading E70 brush. So they're like little mini brushes. It's angled, fluffy, soft brush. And then they were also passing out this lipstick or lip gloss. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's a lip vex. Hint. In the color Hint. I don't know exactly what this is. I should probably open this. Okay, so it's like a really pretty pigmented, muted lilac mauve gloss. Um, that's pretty. I like that. And it smells good. Cool. 
Give Sigma. So as I was walking around IMATS, I heard my name and I turned around and I saw these girls just waving at me and they we ran up to each other and it was the girls from Black Moon Cosmetics. I have never met them before. I have spoken to them before, but they found me and they are so amazing and so sweet that they gave me a beautiful box with their liquid lipsticks. Now, I have tried one of their liquid lipsticks in the color Libra and it's absolutely amazing. It's one of my favorites. It's one of my favorite formulas and I am so excited to try the rest of the colors. Um, I'll show you the colors in a minute, but they were so sweet enough to give this to me and I was, I, I was just really happy. So thank you to Black Moon. You guys are the sweetest. I cannot wait to try all these colors out. Um, so as you guys know or don't know, this is Libra. It's basically a gorgeous neutral nude pink. I don't want to say it's pink, but it's not like... It's like a brown pink nude, if that makes sense. And this is absolutely one of the perfect colors ever. To me, this is the perfect everyday shade. And the next color is in... Okay, I'm going to say this wrong. Sangui, Sanguis, Sanguis, maybe. Um, basically, it's a classic, gorgeous, warm red. I love this. It's so pretty. You can never go wrong with red. And then the next color is called Deranged, and this one is pretty. This is like a very vampy, dark red burgundy. Love this. Very pretty. Deranged. Cool. Interesting names. And the last one is called Purgatory, which is awesome. And this is almost like a blackened plum violet. Very, very pretty. Almost looks black, but it's not. So these are amazing. I cannot wait to use them. Thank you to Black Moon again. I appreciate it so very much. Um, uh, also, I will be posting swatches and pictures of uh, pretty much all these products on my Instagram. So if you want to see pictures and swatches things like that You can follow me on makeup by Jessie. I will be posting it there very shortly So, so the very last products that I'm going to talk about are actually the very first products that I picked up from IMADS It was actually like the first booth I went to when I first walked in and that is Frankie Rose Cosmetics Last year IMADS I had bought and tried out for the very first time these products and I'll put down the link down uh, below of the IMADS Matt's haul last year and I'll also put the link of the review of the products too. I made a separate video reviewing the things from Frankie Rose. I picked up a concealer, a foundation, a lip pencil, and a lipstick. So I'll put that all down below but this year I went back for more and I got the foundation which let me tell you like I have to probably say that this is one of my favorite foundations. I've been using, since last eye mats, I was using religiously for a really long time, the foundation. Even though it was one shade too dark, I got the second to lightest color and I was using it all the time. Um, I put it aside for a little bit and a few weeks ago I started using it again and realized like yesterday was like my last pump. Like there was like nothing in there. And it was perfect timing because I got a brand new bottle and I picked up the lightest color which is China Silk F101 and I'm wearing the foundation today. I love it. The color is perfect. Perfect. I'm so freaking happy. So this foundation really quickly has a satin finish. Um, what else about it? It's basically just a beautiful foundation. It gives amazing coverage. It already gives you like a medium coverage, but easily and flawlessly buildable to a full coverage. Beautiful. It actually smells good too. Some foundations have this smell, but this one just smells clean, like good. I don't know. I noticed that today. I was like putting my makeup on it. I was like, that smells really good. So I picked up a foundation and then I picked up the concealer that I also have tried and this is in C101 Angelic, also the lightest concealer shade and this is our little secret concealer. I love this too, incredibly pigmented and creamy, picks up a lot of products so you don't have to go back in and out constantly. And the last thing that I picked up was actually a new product I haven't tried and this is a lip gloss in the color Exotic. This is me. This is my color. So it's a really pretty mauve shade and I'm actually wearing this on my lips right now. It's so creamy. I am obsessed with this color. I love the formula. It is not sticky. It is incredibly smooth, 
hydrating, luxurious feeling. It gives you gorgeous shine to your lips. Your lips look nice and juicy. And I love it. I am not a gloss girl, but I'm not even kidding you. I'm going to be wearing this all the time now. I'm wearing um, a lip liner. What am I wearing? Elf Cosmetics Lip Pencil or Retractable Lip Pencil in Raisin, I believe. Yeah, um, I'm wearing that around my lips, but this, oh yeah, this lip gloss is amazing. So this was everything that I picked up from IMAS this year. It's definitely not as crazy or as overboard as I usually get at IMAS. Um, I tried to contain myself as much as I can this year. Um, there was a lot of new products and so many things that I just wanted to buy. Um, but I just have to, you know, rein it in. Do you need this? Do you have to get this? Because I will tell you there are so many times I buy something and I'm so excited. I'm like, I can't wait, and then I go home, and the next day, I'm like, why did I get this? Do, did, I really, did I really need this? And then I just end up not using it or whatever. So I didn't want something like that to happen. I definitely got things I was going to be using a lot. So that's one great thing about this year. I controlled myself. Another reason being the lines were so long. All the places that I wanted to visit, just like forget about it. The lines were like out the door, wrapped around the building, across the other street. It was, I, I don't know. And I thought Sunday would be, you know, a chiller day or whatever, but everybody was saying it's actually like one of the worst and most crowded days. I was like, great, fantastic. So I didn't really get to go to all the booths that I wanted to because just to even go up to the booth or swatch or play with something, you had to stand in a line that was about three, four hours long. And if I want to stand in a line like that, I'm going to go to Six Flags or Disneyland. Okay? But yeah, it's okay. I'm really, really happy with the things I did get. I'm going to be definitely using everything. Um, what else? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed my little haul and my video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And you can follow me on Instagram, Makeup by Jessie. Like I mentioned, I will be posting pictures and swatches of these products. So... Stay tuned for that. What else? That's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Okay, I am done. I can go have my coffee now.